I talk and I talk, but guess what? I back it up. They know who's running the game, so any chance they get, they mention my name. The whole roster wants a piece. And the whole roster will get a piece. Introducing the notorious one! division world champion i'm gonna go and i'm gonna get them two belts take out two divisions if anyone can do it it's me you're blessed that i chose you you're blessed that i chose to whoop your ass next Most people believe Conor McGregor's next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title, but against whom? That's the question. He's got 10 wins in a row. He's the obvious choice for the next challenge. Conor McGregor versus Tony Ferguson. That's the most relevant. Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson. Let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Alistair Overy and Alexi Olenek. Well, good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly, you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy is amongst one of the most elusive fighters as far as his defense is concerned. Extremely difficult to hit. So coming up on 60 professional MMA fights, here is the former K-1 World Grand Prix champion, Alistair Overeem. As far as heavyweight finishers go, Joe, I'm not sure any man has a better, more versatile resume than the Reem. Many of the knockouts stemming from a kick or a knee and something undoubtedly his opponent will be aware of coming in here tonight. Alistair Overeem is the most decorated heavyweight striker in the history of mixed martial arts. The former K-1 Grand Prix champion is the first fighter in the history of the sport to win titles in world-class kickboxing as well as mixed martial arts. Now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and the same reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 57 wins, 11 losses, and one draw. He stands 62 inches tall, 
weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexei the Boa Constrictor Alina. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 44 wins, 17 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Alistair Marie Oliveray! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time, and it is going to go down right now. Here we go. Oh, effective strike there by Olenek. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Huge uppercut misses. Nice punch by Olenek. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh! Oh, pretty good counter jab to the head by the ring. Lands a kick to the leg. Both guys just trying to figure each other out now. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, oh that'll earn your headache shot. in the morning. Massive uppercut. Big, Big body shot. shot. Body. The left hook hits home. Just over three minutes to go now. really throwing with authority. Strong inside leg kick. Nice kick there by the Ream. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Look at that. Nice. That one hurt. Protected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. And he eats a right hand there. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. He lands with the left. Side leg kick is there by the ream. Back to the jab now, no good. So we cross the 30 second mark in our opening round. Fifteen seconds to go. Here's a big leg kick. Here's a powerful leg kick. Here's a powerful head kick that lands. Some real clean striking on display in that round. Ariane Celeste on hand. All right, second round underway. 
All right, so here we go with round two. Good first round in the books. Both fighters had their moment. Again, I'm glad I'm not a judge. Right, a difficult round to score. We will see, though, Joe, if there's an uptick in the aggression here in round two. Olenek's oh, lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Look at that, right to the temple. We show you the total strikes. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not, it has been one and done. So the emphasis now moving forward, combinations. Throw your punches and punches and really try to force the issue and get your opponent out of it. Alistair is landing some brutal leg kicks here. Oh, absolutely, Joe. That lead leg is wobbly at this point. Staying busy here in the clinch. Now goes to the knee to the body. Oh, oh big nice knee. knee! Oh! He's trying to stay up. Oh! Two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Trying to get a single. First takedown attempt is there. Oh, he continues to attack now. Joe might have an arm bar. He popped out of the arm bar. Over in getting worked from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. And a hammer fist. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Back to the mount again. Good shot to the head. Both fighters back to their feet now. Overeem gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. Oh, straight to the body by Olin. Nice kick to the body. Hit him with the jab. Final seconds. Oh, both men exchange. Huge block there. And that's the end of round number two. There's a nice leg kick. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Big round. For all the fancy stuff, right? Now what do we do? Not to see change. Okay, let's see. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. still hurt from that last round. He's going to want to move and avoid taking damage early. Oh, he got clipped there. He got hurt. Oh, big left. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Olenek's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Good work from the top here by Overeem. Yes. He's got the twister locked in tight. He might get a finish here. That twister is locked in tight. Any second now, he may have to tap. The oh, sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. He's inside control here. <laughs> All right, so he just decides to get up here, Joe. He avoids the clinch.
under three minutes now to go in the round. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Big shot from the bottom. Very nice sweep. And he's going to try to take the back. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. That was a decent leg kick. All right, well, he gets back to his feet here, Joe, but he looks like he is in a world of trouble. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. And Alistair tags him. Hand speed, man. He just missed with the left there. How about that shin? Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. That one hurt. Oh, he connects there. Well, I know he's confident in his chin, Joe, but he left his head wide open for that returning hook there. He would be wise to start moving his feet, get on the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get that head off the center line Smart. and out of harm's way. Let's go sweat. do something. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Oh, oh big knee! That's three rounds right. in the can. We're headed to the championship round. Saved by the bell, the round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. Here's a perfectly placed kick that results in a knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Thank you very much, Carly Baker. You ready? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. It looks like he's limping. Oh, Linick gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, there's a good shot from the bottom. He's got excellent pressure from the top. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by the ring. It looks like he may be attempting a submission here. He's gonna throw that leg over. He's got that. Oh, we're getting a finish here. He's gonna push that arm sideways across the face. Oh and my God. Use excellent technique in getting that choke for the victory. So, yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And one more time, beautiful technique here on this triangle for the victory. And one more time, Nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 10 seconds of round number four. He's playing the winner by tap out. Alexi, the power can strip ball, So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And candidly, Joe, I'm not sure this night could have gone any better. He did have some doubters coming in. He said, I got to mute those naysayers. And they're not going to keep quiet unless I can actually get this guy out of there. So mission accomplished. No judges necessary tonight. He gets the submission. And now all that's left is to celebrate with his coaches and trainers.